This is a heart rate chest monitor. This is also a heart rate chest monitor. They both look almost the same in size and weight, but they are not the same. The Polar H10 is known for its accuracy, with studies showing it has a 99.6 accuracy rate. This sets the baseline standard for heart rate monitors. Two years ago, I purchased my first heart rate chest monitor, a Wahoo ticker. I have worn it in various conditions, different temperatures, indoors and outdoors. It has worked fine so far and I have no complaints. However, I never really considered its accuracy during this almost two year period. It's strange that I didn't think about it earlier, but as they say, better late than never. So now I'm ready to test and see if the Wahoo ticker is as accurate as the Polar H10 or how close it can come to the Polar H10. I used my indoor training setup for the test and I simultaneously mounted both devices on my chest. The Polar H10 was connected to the MyWoosh app and the Wahoo ticker was connected to the Wahoo mobile app on my iPhone. Both devices transmitted the same data at the same time to the MyWoosh app and my phone, what's cadence, speed, distance, time, with the only differing parameter being the heart rate. I completed a test where I did a short ride with steady warm-up followed by intervals at a constant power but different cadences or the same cadence but different power levels. The goal was to simulate various conditions during a normal ride to increase and decrease my heart rate and determine if the Wahoo ticker's accuracy could match that of the Polar H10. In the first 15 minutes of the workout, the Wahoo ticker was able to keep up with the Polar H10. I was aiming to maintain a steady intensity to warp up my legs. I incorporated sessions with varied cadences, gradients and power levels. The ticker's response was impressive and I was pleased at that time. There was a brief period when the Wahoo ticker had a minor issue, but overall I'd say that the ticker performed well. There were only small deviations between the ticker and the Polar H10 and nothing significant to worry about. After the warm-up, things started to change. What a surprise. I have to say that I was not expecting this. If you like this content, subscribe to my channel. It is free for you and priceless for me. Thank you. During the second part of my ride, I decided to test the responsiveness of my ticker heart rate monitor by intentionally trying to increase or decrease my heart rate quickly. Using my setup, I was able to simulate different gradients and powers, making me feel like I was climbing a mountain. I alternated between sessions where I focused on using my legs to propel me forward, low cadence, and sessions where I focused on using my heart to propel me forward, high cadence. After trying both methods, I was able to compare the heart rate response of the ticker and the Polar H10. Can the Wahoo ticker match the Polar H10? The answer is no. The accuracy of the ticker was inconsistent, with readings sometimes higher and sometimes lower than the Polar H10 by significant margins. I am unable to explain the significant gaps between the Polar H10 and the Wahoo ticker in these results. It appears that after 15 minutes of use, the accuracy of the ticker starts to decrease. It is clear to me that the ticker's accuracy is not great. I was using the Wahoo ticker and relying on the data that this device showed me during my rides. I made decisions, wrong decisions, because I was reading on my bicycle computer a wrong heart rate value. I can't change the past, but I can impact the future. From now on, I will use the Polar H10 to base my training on improving my condition and performance. Thank you for watching, and till the next time, let's spin the wheels.